So if you are fully prepared for the Alex Math placement exam, this should be a very easy problem to solve. Let's take a look at the question. We have 2x squared minus 18 over x squared minus x minus 6. And what we're trying to do here is simplify this expression. All right, now, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to fully explain this in just one second. Now, if you need help preparing for the Alex Math placement exam, make sure to check out my full Alex Math placement exam test prep course. It's one of my most popular courses. You can find a link to that in the description of this video. All right, so let's go and get into the solution right now. So here is the problem. Again, we have 2x squared minus 18 over x squared minus uh, x minus 6. Now, what we want to do is to write this in a simpler way. Now, we don't know if that's possible or not. Now, for example, if I had the fraction 100 over 200, I'm like, oh, yes, I can write this in a simpler way, uh, 1 over 2. But if I had the fraction 937 over uh, 8, uh, let's say, uh, 817, well, here, I don't know if I can reduce this fraction, right? Same thing here. You don't know, but you certainly need to try. And the way we try to, um, or what we need to do to attempt to simplify any fraction or rational expression is we need to factor, all right? So again, that is the main skill here. So uh, looking at this problem, you have to say to yourself, all right, can I factor 2x squared uh, 2x squared minus uh, 18, and can I factor x squared minus x minus 6? Now, let me just go ahead and just uh, state something right off the bat. Uh, this video will not cover all the techniques that you need to know in order to factor completely in algebra. That is a huge topic in and of itself. So this is a huge uh, skill set. It's not just one individual skill. Okay, but nevertheless, we need to know how to factor the numerator and denominator, or at least attempt to factor, because sometimes uh, you cannot factor. Uh, you're dealing with something that is just prime. Now, if we can factor uh, this uh, problem, then we, we're going to think in terms of like a regular fraction. So let's use a simple example here. So what we're kind of uh, doing is no different than what we would do to simplify, again, a regular, a regular numeric fraction. So something like, for example, 20 over 30. Now, most of you are saying, oh, yes, Mr. U2 Math Man, that is equal to two-thirds, and you are correct. But really, technically, what you're doing is you're factoring the numerator and you're factoring the denominator. And what we're looking for is like factors. So 20, we can write as 2 times 10, and 30, we can write as 3 times 10. And this is outstanding because here we have two common factors, right? We have the same factor in the numerator and the same factor in the denominator, and when we have uh, like factors in the numerator and denominator, we could cross cancel and whatever is left is the simplified fraction. So this is no different in terms of dealing with rational expressions. So what we, what we want to do here first is factor the numerator and denominator in the hope that we can find some like factors. Okay, so that is the main idea. And now let's go ahead and get into the next step, uh, which of course is doing the actual factoring. Okay, so we have 2x squared minus 18 over x squared minus x minus 6. Now here, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to factor out a 2. Okay, we're going to factor out the GCF. So this is going to be 2 times x squared minus 9. All right, now this right here, this x squared minus 9 uh, can be factored as well, but we'll just take this one step at a time. And then down here in the denominator, x squared minus x minus 6, we can factor into, into these two binomials, x minus 3 times x plus 2. Before we continue with the video, I want to tell you about my Alex Math Placement course. So as a math teacher, as someone who's been teaching for decades, I really built what I think is one of the most comprehensive Alex Math test prep courses anywhere. So uh, I basically go through basic math, algebra, advanced algebra, and trigonometry. So this is going to get you extremely prepared to do well on the Alex uh, exam. I'm going to leave a link to this course in the description of this video. So check it out after uh, this video finishes, but let's get back to the problem. Now, uh, factoring a quadratic trinomial, this is a whole, you know, set of skills in and of itself. So again, I'm just showing you the answer. I'm not getting into how to do this. It would just make this video way too long. 
So if you don't know how uh, this was factored into this, then that is like, you know, a major algebra emergency because factoring, again, is a critical skill. If you can't factor, you won't be able to do algebra. So, you know, if you're struggling with this, what you need to do is just stop all your other studies in terms of math and go back and learn uh, how to factor. Everything else will become so much easier in algebra once you really get factoring down. Okay, so hopefully you understand uh, that this is uh, factored into that, and this is factored into this. But we're not done yet because we can still can uh, continue to factor this x squared minus 9. Again, a lot of different skills here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the rest of this problem now. All right, so now um, here we already um, uh, factored out that GCF of 2, and we have x squared minus 9. We already factored out the denominator. So right here is a situation called the difference of two squares. It's another factoring technique. So x squared minus 9, we can factor as x minus 3 uh, times x plus 3. And now we're going to write that over our denominator, which, of course, is x minus 3 times x plus 2. So here is the uh, that expression fully factored. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at it right here. And once we've factored out completely the numerator and denominator, what we're looking for here is opportunities to cro uh, cross-cancel any like factors. So we're just going to scan. Hey, do we see anything in the numerator that's down in the, uh, the denominator? And the only thing that we see is x minus 3 and x minus 3. So we can cross-cancel one of these factors. Okay, again, all this is being separated by multiplication. So like factor, like factor, we could cross-cancel this. And all we're left with is 2 times x plus 3. And then we have an x plus 2 down here in the denominator. All right, so this is the final answer. Again, you could just take this 2, multiply back in, so you have 2x plus 6, but that's not necessary. So I hope this video helped you out, and if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, there is a lot of math on the Alex Math Placement Test, and you don't want to go in there uh, underprepared because that will have uh, negative uh, consequences as you really do want to place into the best math course for you. So make sure to check out my Alex Math Test Prep course. Again, you can find a link to that in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.